let's say LPL? So the premonition database together with the proprietary algorithm is probably most useful in many ways to the LPL underwriter, right? So right now, if you're underwriting lawyer's professional liability, you have, a, you have an application and the application may ask whether you've actually had claims in the past and it will probably ask about, uh, in general, uh, what are the areas of practice uh, that you operate in. But what it won't ask is anything about what your win rate is. And you know we know that a uh, lawyer that consistently loses more cases in a particular jurisdiction against his uh, competitors playing in the same playing field will sooner or later get a, a claim for legal malpractice. The more you lose, the more likely it's going to be that a client is going to think that uh, you lost because you're bad. That is not at all disclosed right now in lawyers' professional liability underwriting in the application or otherwise. In addition to that, there's insufficient disclosure as to how many cases you take out of your particular area of expertise. As any LPL underwriter will tell you, it is much more likely that a lawyer will be sued when he takes that occasional case outside of his subject matter expertise. Some of that information is available in the insurance application if you're lucky enough to get it, but not in enough detail. Using the premonition database, the LPL underwriter will know exactly how often a particular applicant takes a case out of his particular expertise and even what his win rate is when he does that. Vital information for the LPL underwriter, which is simply not available now without the premonition database. How about with regards to DNO? So small company DNO can be a frustrating underwrite because you don't usually have as much information as you would really want to have about your applicant. Very different than publicly traded company DNO, in which there is SEC uh, disclosures, there are registration statements, uh, there are uh, 10Ks and 10Qs. It also tends to be more in the public eye. There's more likely that you're going to find articles. But in the privately held space, Really very, very, very little of that, and certainly other than the occasional PPM, no SEC uh, disclosure, certainly no K, 10Ks and, 10, and 10Qs. So what is the poor DNO, small business DNO underwriter going to do? It's almost a guessing game. You get, it, you get an application, you find out whether there would have been actual claims, that's really about it. You don't know anything really about the CEO and about sometimes the one, two, or three people that are running the company. You don't know whether they're going through a divorce. You don't know what their credit score is. You don't know if there's been any litigation against them. You don't know if they tend to litigate against others. You know nothing. So what's terrific about the Premonition database is that it can be connected automatically to your automated DNO underwriting system through API and be able to flag for your small business DNO underwriter those applicants that have red flags. And therefore that would then go to an individual or would go to a senior underwriter to look at it uh, more deeply. This is vital, in my humble opinion, in small business DNO, and really, other than the premonition database, there's no other way that I'm aware of doing it. How about with regards to ENO? So, underwriting small ENO policies is a frustrating experience. For the larger professional liability companies, some of them, first of all, are publicly traded, and you can get a lot of information about it, and even the ones that aren't publicly traded have a lot of data, and there's usually a dozen, sometimes hundreds of professionals, and so you have the law of large numbers. But in the small professional liability field, whether it's MPL, LPL, real estate E&O, account, accounting E&O, 
it really is based upon that individual or a set of very small individuals. And you don't have as much information as you would like. You'll get an insurance application, and if you're lucky, there'll be a warranty statement, and you may have some information about prior claims and areas of business and top five clients, but that's really about it. What you don't know is what else is going, is happening to that uh, single practitioner or, or the top three in the small firms uh, in terms of litigation. You don't know if they're going through a divorce. You don't know if they're uh, uh, having litigation on their credit. You don't know if there's criminal proceedings against them. You know nothing about them as individuals, which is critical in the underwriting of small professional liability. And the reason why the small professional liability underwriter knows nothing is that prior to premonition, that data was simply not available, but it is now.